Steve Prasani with Beauty and the Stamper. And I told you I was gonna be DIYing, still wearing the same clothes, but I had to show you um, this item that I'm gonna make. And what it's gonna be are these cute um, tea light holders. And so I have two tea lights, one packet. I have these little um, glitter ornaments. I picked up two of these crackle um, vases, candle holders, and then I also picked up some uh, shower curtains. So, not curtains, shower curtain rings. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get started and see what we have here. So I'm gonna take these out and we're going to take these off as well. I know, I should have done it beforehand, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about it showing. Uh, and then what I wanna do is, that one came out really easy, really nice. What I wanna do is glue these shower curtains uh, rings together. Now, I got this kind of inspiration from um, a beauty named Joseph, and he sent me his ornament um, candle holders. They are beautiful, and it just gave me a little bit of inspiration to make some as well so that I could show you. So let's go ahead. He actually used um, the silver candle, I keep saying candle, the silver napkin rings. But I went and looked and they didn't have the silver napkin rings. But for me, I love white, green, and red for Christmas. So I am okay. So let's open these guys up. And we'll make two different sizes because it does have five. I'll make one with three and one with two. If you want, you can buy two of these, or you can um, make two smaller ones, but let me show you how we're doing this. So of course there's glitter, so there's gonna be fall off, and I am okay with it because these are really cute. I think that Christmas time is really the one time that I am okay with all the glitter fall off, and probably, um, Valentine's as well. So I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna take these guys right off of there because we don't need these on there at all. So, And I know you guys can hear little Stanley and his pitter patter. So <laughs> I love that you guys love him so much. So we've taken these off. And then we're going to glue two. See the backs? We're going to keep those backs together. And we are just going to go with this hot glue here. And I am going to close them together. Make sure they're closed. And then we're going to put some hot glue right around here. Did I not turn it on? It is on. It might be taking just a little longer than expected. So I'll be right back. Okay, the glue gun is done. And while I was waiting, I was cutting these little guys off of the balls. And let me just show you how I did that. It's really a cheap plastic. So I just took my scissors, held down, and it came right off. Did you see how quickly and easily that came off? So now I have my shower curtains. And I'm going to, I'm gonna make these, I'm gonna make them one high, and I'm gonna make the second one two high. And so I'm just gonna take 
this glue gun because it heated up faster. And I'm gonna push these two together, making sure they're closed. And we're just going to put some glue right on the top and around the ring, just right up on the top here. So just going around. And then once we get that done, we're gonna take the other one and stick it right on top and push down and line them up. And there we go. So we've got now this little guy, which is too high. And I've done a couple other ones as well. And then we're gonna make another one that is three high. And all we're gonna do is add one more of these guys. So we take the two. We're gonna put that glue right around. and then stick this guy right on top again and push it down and make sure that it is straight and even. And if you have any glue that seeps on out of there, you can literally just kind of take your fingernail and run across it and that glue comes off really easily when it's first placed on there. So you can also use the E6000 with this if you'd like. And just as I suspected, there is glitter all over the place. But that's okay, these come out so adorable. So let's start with the two pieces here. And then we're going to take these and we're going to glue that right on there. So again, we're going to take some glue and this one I'm going to put a little bit more glue. And I do it toward the inside because if any is going to fall, at least I want it to fall inside where it can't be seen. We're gonna take that and we're gonna put it straight up and down. And I'm just gonna hold that right down there. Then we're gonna take another two piece and add some more. Let me grab another glue stick here. Add some more glue on here. <laughs> Be a little messy. What's going on with this glue? Oh, there we go. And again, going around the shower curtain toward the inside so that if it falls, it falls on the inside, which is okay because then the glue will stick on here as well. So we've got this first piece, and now we're gonna turn this guy upside down, make everything on the back be the back. And we want it all to be straight. And like I said, I was a little bit messy on this piece, so we have a little bit of glue on there. But now we've got this here. And then we're going to take and stick this guy right on top here. And it goes almost to the edge, so it works perfectly. We're just going to put some glue right on the edge. Again, you could use E6000 if you'd like. And 
that is just so cute. Isn't that super adorable? And then we're gonna do the second one. We're still gonna have the two on the bottom. We're gonna put the bow on it. The ornament straight. Then we're gonna take the three piece. And we're gonna put that one on there super straight as well. And if there's any parts that aren't touching, I could see some in here. Just put your glue around this inside. And there we go. And just hold it down like that until your glue starts to um, firm up. So we want this to be very straight. And then the reason we're doing it three high instead of the two high is because um, because these are wider, they are not, um, they're giving more room to fit. So two high for the middle pieces won't fit appropriately. And then we're gonna take another one of these guys. And stick that right in there. Again, making sure everything is straight. And then we're gonna put this one three high as well. If you'd like, you could put that middle one too high um, because it will work with the flat bottom of that candle holder. That is up to you. And I just think this is super, super cute. I'm doing that because I put a little bit too much and I'd rather have it on the inside than the outside. And again, you want to keep this flat because you want your candle holder to be completely straight and flat. And then the last piece here, again, we're going to go around the outside. And this one happens to be the crackle glass and I totally love the crackle glass and then this guy's gonna go right on top making sure it is straight oh my goodness super cute right there and then you take your candles don't tell me this one's not working oh there we go take the other candle and how cute are these so adorable I love it so much so I hope you guys like it if you do give me a thumbs up again this is an inspiration from one of you beauties I absolutely adore them thank you so much for sending me all your works of art you guys I get them all I see them all and you guys give me such inspiration you don't even know it so 
thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and please give me a thumbs up because you're going to be giving your other beauties thumbs ups as well. Thumbs ups as well. <laughs> All right. Have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Ah, it's not closing. One, two, three.